Fuck, Ray. What? You owe me 120 bucks. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry, I forgot. To tell you the truth, your whole drug thing makes me uneasy. Well, don't get soft on me, Fesco. Nah, I mean it, Ray. I like you. I missed you. And that shit at the beginning of the summer really scared me. Right. You and everybody else. I'm not being flip, Ray. I've been in the drug game for six years, and I've seen a bunch of people die, but none like you. I don't know what the fuck you got going on inside of you, and I don't know how to fix it. But trust me, this shit ain't the answer. You know, I remember when I was 11 years old, and it was about a month or two after my dad just got diagnosed. We had just gotten the results on his prognosis. I was actually pretty good. It was like 80 out of 20. So we had this little celebration. We were a bunch of Chinese food. And I was lying in bed in between my parents, watching a rerun of fucking Seinfeld. And then I felt like I couldn't breathe. It was as if all the oxygen in the whole world had just disappeared. And I was lying there panicking, gasping for air. And they thought I was having some kind of allergic reaction. So they called an ambulance. They brought me to the hospital and when I got there, they gave me liquid Valium to calm down. And I thought to myself, this is exactly what I have been searching for, for my whole entire life. The whole world finally went quiet, and I felt safe inside my own head. Two years later, he died. And the panic attacks kept coming. But I finally found a reason to live. And will it kill me? Yeah. Probably. <laughs> so what do you say, Fezco? Are you still gonna be my dealer? You're a fucking trip, Ray. And I'm way too high for this conversation. <laughs> yeah. Me too.